Now we have a problem. If someone has a problem that they need a consultation and they want to ask a question. Your brother listening to me. Now if somebody has a question, you have, let's say you have some matter that you need to ask a scholar. You go to him, you're gonna follow him what he says. But how do you know what he is telling you, what is he answering you? It is right from the Quran and so now how do you know that? That's, that's a major part people do, do not understand that. Because what happens if anybody has a local Imam or local Sheikh or local Mufti or whatever, if they answer you, do not follow blindly. So the best thing to get your answer is to get the opinions from, from four or five different scholars. Like if you ask me a question, right? It says in Sahih Muslim, the hadith number is 24. I don't know if you, some of you heard the name of Ibn Sari. Who, who, who knows about the name of the Ibn Sari? He was the best scholar for dream interpreter. But anyway, he said that he said something very beautiful. He said, if you have a, uh, if you're learning a deen, in order to learn a deen, or if you want the answer about your problem, the person you are learning the deen from, or you're trying to get an opinion about your problem, from the person you're getting your opinion, first you have to understand who is that person is. Where is he getting his education from? Where is he linked? Like for example, I have a brother here who belongs to somewhere in his grandfather, his grandfather was connected somewhere was not even linked back to the authentic hadith of the Prophet It's not even linked. So someone locally go, go to him and ask him the question. He will just answer him, you're gonna fall in blindly. That's how the people are getting misguided.